नमस्कार दोस्तों चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स के लिए एक लाइन आपने बहुत सुनी होगी कि सी की डिमांड कम होने वाली है सी आउटडेटेड होने वाले हैं टेक्नोलॉजी उनका काम लेने वाली है ऑटोमेशन और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस अकाउंटिंग को ऑटोमेट कर देगी ऑडिट को ऑटोमेट कर देगी और कहीं ना कहीं सी की डिमांड शायद खत्म हो जाए इन नियर फ्यूचर ऐसा अगर आपने सुना है तो इस वीडियो में मिलने वाली है आपको क्लैरिटी आज मैं एक ऐसे स्पेशल गेस्ट का इंटरव्यू लेकर आया हूँ जो इंडिया की चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट तो है ही बिग फोर में जिन्होंने काम तो किया ही है बट उसके साथ में यूएस जाकर और यूएस में जाकर भी टेक्नोलॉजिकली अपने आप को अपग्रेड करा है और डेटा एनालिटिक्स में करेंटली यूएस में काम कर रही है और ऐसा इंटरव्यू सुनकर अगर आप पूरा डिटेल में सुनते हैं तो आपको ये आंसर भी मिलेगा कि सी की डिमांड कितनी रहेगी टेक्नोलॉजी का क्या एक्चुअली में इन्वॉल्वमेंट है इन ऑटोमेटिंग दी ऑडिट प्रोसीजर्स और बाकी सारी चीज़ों के लिए भी आप कैसे अपना करियर स्विच कर सकते हैं अगर करना चाहते हैं या फिर अपने आप को कैसे अपग्रेड कर सकते हैं ये सारी बातें आज के वीडियो में आपको मिलने वाली है सो स्टेडियन एंड वॉच वेलकम बैक एवरी वन फ्रेंड्स आज का जो हमारा सेशन है वो आपको यूट्यूब पर कभी नहीं मिलेगा क्योंकि आपने नहीं देखा होगा कि कोई चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट आई टी फील्ड में मूव कर रहा है और वो भी इंडिया में नहीं यूएस में आज हमारे साथ है हमारे गेस्ट स्पीकर मेगा कामरा मैम ये एक सी ए होकर इन्होंने यूएस में जाकर अपना करियर शिफ्ट किया है और मैं इस वीडियो के माध्यम से मैम का इंटरव्यू लेकर आ रहा हूँ आपके बीच में तो वो बताएंगे कि कैसे अगर आप कॉमर्स बैकग्राउंड के हैं या सी ए बैकग्राउंड के हैं तो भी आप अपने करियर में शिफ्ट कर सकते हैं इन केस यू विश टू मूव टू डेटा एनालिटिक्स और आईटी फील्ड बिकॉज इसका स्कोप बहुत ज्यादा है वेलकम मैम हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड थैंक यू योगेश फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी डू यू वांट मी टू स्टार्ट तो मैं पहले मैम आपसे यही क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूँ कि आप इंडिया में आप सी होने के बाद हाउ यू मूव टू यूएस आई मीन वट वॉज दैट थिंग दैट ड्राइव यू की आप यूएस में जाएंगे ऐसा क्या इवेंट हुआ और कैसी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली आपको right 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 so it was both personal and professional so i got married to a person who was already there in us um and from there i wanted to obviously not just sit back at home but wanted to explore different opportunities where in i can use my current skill set which was ca having all the finance and accounting knowledge but wanted to move into the tech world because uh because i think uh that's how uh us world is like when you are in tech or you know technology you know data analytics i think you will be better uh in finding the job when you especially are at visa because we are not citizens here right so uh, i think it's better to be be in a tech world uh so that was one factor but that was not the only derivation just to find a job obviously it was the interesting or interest factor as well uh because uh, considering that we already have the finance knowledge and how the industry is moving towards analysis and the automation using the fancy technology and to technical tools to do our audit or accounting or financial analysis right we don't want to rely just on excel spreadsheet to do all the manual work but we want to move to more uh, fancy world and do use technical tools and do some analysis and provide some insights to our stakeholders to our business and also to like our c level executives if you are working in corporate fpna or in proper finance world right so i like read few articles and understood like that's how the industry is moving even big four at that point in time when i did masters in 2017 even big four started moving towards automation of auditing not doing any manual auditing like deloitte and everybody they internally started training their employees on automation on sql various other programming languages so so i knew that this is the time that we need to change or we need to modify the way we think the way we operate in corporate world we are not going to operate in man world world anymore so i think that was the uh, motivation to switch my career to data analytics but it is not like 100% switch i would say it's more like gaining a strength which will give you an edge over other people so so can you give us an example ki jaise ki for example ki aapne kaha ki that manual work is now getting automated in big four so can we have one example for that ha huh. so basically in our uh, industry or uh, 
for any organization when we do audit we usually used to do audit manually like manual transaction check karna and those kind of stuff mm-hmm. right but now what this big four is doing everything we are involving it so it audit also we started in ca Mm. you remember, you might remember more than me i recently worked with deloitte audit in my recent job and those were the people who used to sit in meeting with uh, mainly with it people mm. sitting together it plus accounting people plus us uh, data analytics people so why it was needed there because we were showing everything automated way uh, like automated reports to them and they did not had that kind of skill set to check all the database the way we are pulling the report uh, to validate the uh, to validate its authenticity all kind all that uh, funky stuff because if you know sql like understand See, sql is only to uh, raise a query and uh, retrieve the data right yeah. that is what it does but what i am right. asking is what thing is getting automated like fetching a data is one thing but in terms of the audit technique which we know how can we use programming or data analytics to perform my stuff so that manual efforts can be saved any one example right yeah so i can give you two examples here from the audit world we used to find the outliers right if you remember we used to do random sampling Correct. or we used to find out the outlier right now with the sql you can easily find outlier right uh, if you know that my table or my co- this column value should not be more than $10000 or $100 right mm-hmm. you can just see uh, like simply write a sql code mm. to identify that right that's right. one way to find your outlier and you don't have to do anything manually mm. uh, half filters in excel sheet those kind of stuff right correct, correct. and then when it comes to financial analysis mm. what is automation doing so data analytics and programming is one part but there is something called visualization tool which is mm. like tableau power bi where you can see fancy dashboards mm. so when you automate your financial analysis stuff or like your financial statements uh, your c level executives everybody at uh, vps vp level those kind of people can easily see if they want to see weekly uh, insights like right? how my finance is doing how my business is doing with the tableau help what you can do is just uh, create a automated dashboard that will be pop up into your inbox on monday morning like that's how you can that's how much you can automate your financial world so that's how this has helped you don't need to go manually pull the numbers provide insights uh, mm-hmm. make a dashboard you don't have to do all this okay but that is for the business business people how it is useful for an auditor like is it helpful in the review i guess yeah right so in the same manner like when you are finding the outlier mm-hmm. or when you want to so like for because it's being long when i did my like auditing uh, those kind of stuff but like for any other example like if you want to find out clear what is the example that i can think of in audit um like if you have to prepare the flow or the procedure flow right mm-hmm. i i know those kind of stuff you cannot automate right that's the procedure that's the business procedure like for revenue if your transaction got initiated how you are going to uh, put that in system and then it will convert into a financial statement those kind of stuff can get automated to a certain extent but anyways you have to understand the business to imply imply the automation to it so that's how, uh, like i would like to explain got and got in a fair idea of how it's helping and i'll definitely explain my audience as well in my practical auditing course which i have launched that what things what the stuff are going to be automated uh, to a certain extent and uh, what things you need to perform manually uh, in terms of decision making and uh, uh, finding the points review points and then discussing with the client so right um, like judgment part of the audit you mm-hmm. cannot change right so there was always a statement or a word that we used to call business judgment in auditing right mm-hmm. that you cannot change because that comes with experience if everything is automated then i think what's the point of us having like such a education right so there has to be that manual feel and experience that is needed everywhere 
So, so uh, there is a uh, buzz where going on on the YouTube where people are saying that now the chartered accountants are getting obsolete and their work will be automated. There will be no demand for CAs. So, what's your take on that? I don't think so. As I just mentioned, everything cannot be automated, right? There has to be business judgment, experience, understanding the flow of. any process whether it's revenue expense booking the expense uh, or any new procedure that you want to put for your assets liabilities anything right you still need that manual uh, uh, like inputs or your experience how can you automate that kind of process so like if a person comes to me and tells me like ca will be obsolete uh, like i think it will be obsolete after say 20 30 years once your automation is done but still i don't imagine a world where we won't be there and everything will be done by machines yeah. so i already made one uh, specific video on that like future of uh, jobs for chartered accountants and i clearly mentioned that if you are doing ca right now then the future is bright because after 20 30 years Uh, even if something happens, which you just stated that everything will get automated, then definitely see a curriculum will see a drastic change, and right. institute will bring those uh, subjects which are more decision making rather than uh, performing the manual stuff. So it will go a change right. in the next twenty right. thirty years. Right, and when you automate, there comes like another evolving uh, way of automating stuff. Right, when you automate one stuff, you still try to find okay, there is something manual still. Mm-hmm. so it's like it's like a journey it's never done completely like we i have seen in big organizations there are like good data analytics person still there is manual stuff going on because business is changing every day mm-hmm. and you cannot just automate everything unless and until we see those uh, fancy robots which we see in the movies that they come and do everything so until and unless that happens uh, the manual work will be there and decision making will be there your knowledge will definitely be there your experience will definitely be there and your value of degree will definitely be there right 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 so so, so now my next question is uh, next question is that uh, you are in the us for uh, many years so you must be having an idea what indian chartered accountants uh, can get in us in terms of job or opportunities so can you highlight that from your experience like anyone from yeah. india want to move to uh, us so right so i think the one way to uh, come to us is either you up, or either you work in an organization which has the global presence in india as well as in us uh, or if say like not us but in canada if you want to go like any other country so if they have global presence you can internally trans take a transfer which is not always easy yeah i think there are every organization has some kind of policy or constraint that they cannot send every person to uh, like uh, their other offices right mm-hmm. so that is one way to come to us the other way is to uh, enroll into any program like masters program phd program and if you haven't done your bachelors then bachelors program uh, but the most effective and economic way to come is like doing a bachelors oh sorry masters because bachelors and phd is kind of uh, time consuming as well as costly so i would say like more more economic uh, way of doing that is come through masters and then you can choose your uh, major uh, that's what we call here in masters like major meaning you want to do in data analytics or you want to do in quantitative finance you want to do in computer science there are many many fields that are or many many majors that are coming mm-hmm. right now even for a pe- person who is ca uh, they don't want directly to jump into data analytics and completely forget their background i think for those people it's like quantitative finance is one of the fancy majors that have come recently in masters so i have seen people coming who are ca uh, recently one of my knowns has come um she was also a ca in india and now she is doing quantitative finance so she is doing a masters course and post that there will be job opportunities there right 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 yeah right and i think there is a stem something called a stem where you get yep. a three years of a, a working visa yep. So what's that? Yeah. Can you tell our audience? Yeah. So STEM is uh, science, technology, engineering, mm-hmm. mathematics. So there are some courses in uh, masters where 
they have like either uh, in your any of the course either it is science technology engineering or maths then you will be able to get 3 years of employment authorization other than that any other major like accounting taxation any other stuff you will get only one year of uh, employment authorization so it means you are only you will only be able to work for a year in us but in stem you will be able to work for 3 years so uh, recently i saw an advertisement by a coaching institute and they are uh, uh, basically saying that if you do cpa in usa then you will get 3 years of work permit over there so is it true no it is not even after becoming a cpa uh, what's the job opportunities in the us so you will definitely be able to get the job it's obviously it depends on your background the interview process the mm-hmm. searching of the employer and then your visa stuff but with cp you will be easily able to land in uh, in accounting or a finance world mm-hmm. so so in case a person is coming and doing a masters in finance and accounting field and simultaneously he or she do cpa usa or they yeah, are already cpa usa then it will be you know advantages to them to get a job easily right that's what i did so i did masters in data analytics and cpa simultaneously in oh, one so you're in the cpa usa as well yeah 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 <laughs> so anything else at the last you want to guide the young generation in india like who have big dreams and want to achieve something big like you maybe going in a foreign country or maybe moving to a different field which is the future so what what what's your final words on that yeah i would just like to say like pursue your interest first thing if you are really interested in not just go by uh, the people that are saying uh, around you i know technology is fancy but and fancy or i would say like it is the demand right now in the market because everything is changing uh, not even uh, in us or western countries but even in india we are seeing that happening so obviously there is a need for us to uplift ourselves to and adopt new technology understand new technology what are the tools coming up what are the different technology even in our daily life uh, if you talk about any product of apple there is something called like every every day they are going to do something new mm-hmm. and explore the technology and bring something new so if that is kind of interest you or motivates you so yeah i think definitely you can go towards a data analytics or a it profile and it is you don't have to do always a masters or a official degree you can start to explore there are a lot of uh, websites like course era uh, i think udemy then linkedin learning there are a lot of stuff online that is available that you can utilize free of cost to learn and see if that is what interests you and if you want to pursue that in future and want to spend some money and obviously there's a good amount of return on investment it's not just you are investing and you will not be able to get the return on it you will definitely be able to get it if you invest properly uh, study sincerely and pursue it uh, in the way that is justified for you and your career i think that is what i want to say thank you very much uh, ma'am for your time and i wish this sure. session is going to help lots and lots of students and uh, with your permission i will be uploading it uh, on youtube i guess uh, there is no issue in that yep yep yeah sure. thanks a lot ma'am thank you so much for your time